Hi, I recently posted a video reviewing the Transcend Dry Pro 100 and Dry Pro 200. Now this is the 200 which has the built-in Wi-Fi. Now one of the things I mentioned in that video is just how good the Wi-Fi streaming was. And I made a comment that what else could you use it for? And I thought, oh, maybe you could use it as a wireless network camera. And, you know, I poked around a bit, played with it a bit, and I managed to connect to it in VLC. And I'll show you that here. So you can see that the TriPro 200 is here, and if I move it around, it's streaming directly to VLC on the computer. Now, I didn't spend a lot of time digging into this. Well, I kind of did, but I could spend more time. Um, so I haven't quite perfected the solution. You could do it much better if you're willing to go through the firmware, go through the application. Um, you can decompile or deconstruct the Android application, for example, and get a lot of you know the original code from there um, but you know I don't really want to spend days or weeks on this I just wanted to play with it and that's what I've done um, so what I'll do is I'll bring the camera closer and I'll show you how you can stream your dry pro 200 to your laptop either VLC to a desktop laptop anything really any device that's capable of um, connecting to the RTSP stream now I'm doing this on a Mac but you could just as easily do this on a Windows machine. First thing you want to do is turn on your Dry Pro 200. Now I'm obviously powering it from this portable power bank. Once it's turned on you press this button here to turn on the Wi-Fi and you'll see that this LED starts to blink blue. Now on the computer we want to connect to that Wi-Fi point and you'll see it's here as a Dry Pro. So it's connecting now over Wi-Fi and one thing you'll notice is that the camera does not go into mobile mode automatically. We have to trigger that. Now I'm sure, in fact I know there's a better way of doing this, but I haven't yet worked out what it is. Um, so for now, this is how we're going to do it. I'll put the camera here so you can, so you can see what happens. Now, let me move that a bit. Now you'll see I've got two terminal windows open. We're going to connect to 192.168.01 port 9001 and then in the other one we're going to connect to 1961 sorry 192.168.01 and two and it will take a little while for them con to connect it could take 10 seconds 20 seconds it seems to be kind of random so you can see this one is connected already and now this one's connected and it's gone into mobile mode. So now we can go to VLC, we can open network, paste in the URL, I'll put this in the video description. We are now connected live, just like that. You see? Um, so it's pretty cool. And it's, you know, it's pretty smooth. Oh, actually it's lagging a little bit. Um, what I've noticed actually, which is a weird one, if it's too close to the Wi-Fi, for instance, the Wi-Fi in the laptop, the Wi-Fi in the camera, it actually gets kind of joggy. But when you move them further apart, um, it actually gets better. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but yeah, if they're too close, uh, the picture is actually kind of joggy. Let me move it away and I'll show you that it does get better. So you should be able to see me now. And I'm about a meter from the, from the laptop. And you can see it's pretty clear, right? There's not as much lag. But once I move it closer to the laptop, suddenly it's, it's jerky, you see? So that's a bit weird, isn't it? Now there's one more interesting thing I found with the camera when I was playing around with it. If you create a folder on the micro SD called batch and you put certain files in there, I'll put this in the video description, but if you put certain files in there um, and then eject it and then turn the camera off, then turn it back on again, it actually tries to execute the script that you've put in there. See, for instance, script loading run. Now, so far, I've not actually managed to get it to do anything. I mean, ideally, we would want to try and get a shell because I know there is you know, a fairly decent operating system underneath all of this. Um, but so far, I haven't made much progress. But you can see that you can get it to trigger some kind of script um, that you, put, you basically put the script on the micro SD and it will run it. Um, but so far, I haven't had much luck getting it to actually do anything. So um, it's kind of interesting. So it was just a quick video to show you some experiments I've had with the Transcend Dry Pro 200. 
I hope you liked it. Um, if you played around with this yourself and you know something that I don't know, put it in the comments section, share it with us. Maybe we can you know, get deeper into this thing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe.